Welcome to Project Wrong Way. This is going to be a weird episode because Rachel's not here. So I've got a lot of pent up uh, tension in my downstairs. <laughs> I'm not going to do the burping of coolant anymore. I went out and bought a specialized tool and here it is. So this device comes from OEM Tools. If I hook this up to my coolant system, I can create a vacuum. As long as the vacuum holds for about 20 seconds, I know the coolant system is in good condition. I'll dip this into a thing of coolant and I'm going to use it, the vacuum, to fill up my coolant system. This is the last step before doing the sniper wizard and timing of the new engine. We're not gonna have a bunch of cool camera angles because Rachel's not here. I don't even know if my head's in this. <sighs> I mean, my head's in it, but my actual head. So cap off any vacuum spots. Obviously I tightened all the shit up really, really tight. Uh, so I hope that holds good. But as long as it, again, as long as it holds vacuum, for about 20 seconds, about 24 pounds of vacuum. It's supposed to work really well. One thing I should also add was I opened up the heater. So I turned the power on, open up the heater valve. But I'll show you how to mount this sucker. It's windy and it's also about 104 degrees. I wore a gray shirt because dolphins and also because I wanted to show the sweat index for how difficult this should be. With burping the system, you have to have the engine running. So with this system, and again, this is about 77 bucks on Amazon. So this is the coolant pickup. Better dump the leaves out of here. This is the coolant pickup. They give you a bunch of rubber spacers. So this one works with our radiator here. I'm gonna go get something to lube that. Lube it. Again, I'm missing Rachel big time. Uh, with the intercourse. I'm not allowed to look at, but she is. Anyway, I'm gonna go get some stuff. So I'm gonna put a little bit of rubbing alcohol on this rubber right here for a temporary lubrication. You tighten this guy up. So you wanna be able to see the gauge clearly, which I can. We're not gonna put the coolant in here yet. A note though, uh, all the videos I've seen where the guys are doing these, they, um, you have to prime this line, which I will try to do in a second, but you also have to, they keep putting it in a coolant bucket. But what I'm going to do is just pour all the coolant into this bucket so I don't have to replace multiple buckets. This part is the off, I don't know what the hell they call it. It's the part that, uh, if there's any excess coolant, it helps kind of psh, psh it out. So I'm actually going to just put the air to it and create the vacuum. It's going to compress all the hoses and shit. It should be pretty wild. This part's going to connect to our air. This is the valve that feeds any excess coolant that might be left in the system. This is the valve, which I think is closed. This is the uptake for the coolant, which we have to prime. And then this is the one that creates the vacuum. So we have to hold the vacuum at some point. Jeez, there's a lot of steps here. I'm not sure which hoses go where, but I connect this one. Oh shit, that one's just gonna go straight up, I guess, huh? All right, and I flip this knob and flip this knob. So at some point, okay, this is closed. So we need to open that, open that. It's blowing out. I don't know if it's doing the vacuum thing or not. There it is. Okay. So there's the vacuum. So hopefully in a second, 
All right, you can see the hoses are starting to collapse. I'm sure that's great for the coolest stuff. Oh boy, yeah, they're collapsing. So we're almost to 24, which is what you want it to be at. Once we get to 24, we're gonna try to hold a vacuum there and see if there's any leaks in my system, which I'm pretty sure there are. Okay. There. You want about 20 seconds, they said. And I have not started counting. I'm hearing like creaking sounds. That's horrible. What is that? All right, so I, I see no leaking. So I'm gonna go get the coolant real quick and start pouring it into this bucket. I don't like the sound of the cracking sounds that are coming from the from the radiator. I don't know if I just broke it. Shit. If that's the case, I'm very stupid. These engines take a ton of coolant. It's like a hundred dollars worth of coolant. Vacuum's still holding though. Hope I don't get any radiator stuff in my drink. And it gets me sick and I die. Please stop making those cracking sounds. Holy crap. I have to hook the compressors back up to it to create the, uh, to bleed the line. Okay, I created the vacuum. This is blowing this shit everywhere. I can shut this off now. Shut that off now. And I just twist this knob right here and it starts pulling coolant into the system. And if it works, it'll slowly, so what it'll do is use the vacuum to pull coolant and it'll inflate everything. I don't know if that's how it's gonna work or not. I don't even know if the water's going down. I'm gonna mark it. This is stressful. I don't know if, I didn't do a very good mark, so let's do. Shit, maybe it's not flowing. There we go. I think I had the raw. I had. I think I had the knob in the wrong direction. Oh no, it's not. It's there. It has to be straight. Now it's definitely flowing. Gotta put some more. Put some more cool in here. It's going down really fast. A lot faster than I thought it would be. This is all to keep air bubbles out of the system. Uh, there's definitely an antifreeze in my drink now. I don't think it's a killable amount. Okay, it's using the vacuum to refill everything. Boom, see the hoses? Full pressurized, yeah? Okay, oh, and it's over. So it stopped. All right, first let me disconnect the air so we don't create another vacuum and shoot a bunch of... Okay, I'm gonna close off this valve now. And I'm gonna unscrew this. I don't know if that works or not. I don't know how the hell this stuff is supposed to work. But it stopped filling. So I can only like imagine that it's at the top here. <clears throat> and it is, the coolant is right at the freaking top. I wonder if that worked. If it worked, it's easier than I made it look. I guess I won't really know until we run it. Can you see the water or the coolant? It's right there. So, I'm just going to add. So I just filled up this part, I guess. I can pull off this cap too. Don't want that. So, that's it. It's 105 out here. I'm barely sweating. I don't know if that's as easy as it's supposed to be. Also don't know if it worked yet. Uh, it, if there are air bubbles in there, they will undoubtedly present themselves when I do the sniper, uh, probably tomorrow. And it also made a bunch of cracking sounds. Like that submarine <laughs> that went to the Titanic. 
Yeah, nothing leaking. So, well, when we do the sniper tomorrow, uh, uh, startup wizard and timing, we'll know for sure. That's the OEM Tools Idiot Proof uh, Air Bubble Eliminator Coolant Refilling System. $77 on Amazon. If it doesn't work, I think I could use this for a scuba or some kind of bedroom toy. Kind of reminds me of Austin Powers' uh, Penis Enhancer. Thanks for watching, you guys. Please like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next, next one here.